All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Theodos. You can call me Spartan. We are here today once again with the co-host, famous Andre. Or zombie Andre now. See. Yeah. I always forget about that thing. <laughs> oh, we got to run it again. <laughs> oh, no, no, we don't. No. Ah, we don't oh, no, we don't. Oh, no, we don't. Okay. Well, well, we get to the podcast, guys. Uncut footage, folks. Got it. Anyway. Uncut. So, real quick, before we do get started, though, folks, uh, we are having some inclement weather in the area we're in, so we want to apologize for any crashes that happened during this uh, during this podcast. Don't yeah, worry, and... it's not the computer this time. It isn't. Actually, talking about the oh, I'll talk about later. But um, so if the weather does get bad enough here, guys, since I am hosting the thing, I will end the stream. Um, let's just say right now, in my area, it's. It's getting to the point where a lot of businesses are closing early, which really doesn't happen that much. But because of the severe weather, a lot of, a lot of places are closing early. So I'll, we'll just keep you updated. I'll keep an eye on the weather. But if it does get really bad, we will end the stream early. But talking about the computer thing, I might have actually bought a new processor. It was actually hey. on sale today. So I bought one. It's supposed to come in Thursday. So maybe starting next week, guys, I'll keep you updated. We might be back on the computer with my new processor. So, hell yeah. Hell yeah. So, high five. But, yeah. So, today, we are here for the final episode of The Bad Batch. You ending the series. We talked about it previous episode, kind of what we <laughs> were wanting it to be and admitting that we it probably wouldn't turn out that way. Um, so, before we, I, I guess, go into <laughs> anything, I, I want to ask you, how do you feel? How do you feel like, how, what did you think, Sparta, of the end? Did you like it? Did you not? Were you disappointed? I'm, I'm not disappointed. <laughs> but I'm not happy with it either. Because, folks, if you if you have been tuning into each of our things, I, it, we've had some wild theories. I've had plenty myself. And uh, definitely not the happy-go-lucky ending I was hoping for with this. Hell, there's so much that we even got wrong thinking about each next episode. <laughs> You know, oh, yeah. like, like looking back on it, God, we suck. <laughs> <laughs> we don't because, suck. Well, we no, just no, overthought no, everything. Know, the worst part, <laughs> we kept talking about the episode was called The Cavalry Has Arrived. And mind you, I'm sure that's talking about the Bad Batch finally getting into the facility, okay? Yeah. But, uh, what the hell happened with Rex? Where's Rex? They, Where, where's they Wolf? technically mentioned Where? him in the final episode. They're like, we should have brought him. <laughs> oh, I, I guess. But still, like, <laughs> like, there's so much that they should have, could have done. You know? Like, uh, there, there's so much there that could have happened. The one... I will say, my favorite thing about the episode is the worst thing also. When we started the episode, Andre, we've gone back and forth about how long that episode was supposed to be. Yeah. Where, like, you kept saying, like, no, it's just 24 minutes, man. It's just, it's just like, 24. It's just, like, you know, like, 30 yeah. minutes. No, start the episode. It's 51 minutes. Dude, that was so hyped. I am glad they did that. <laughs> that because so I'm hyped. like, for this being the final season, the final episode, we get to see the Bad Bash. I'm like... I, when I saw it, when I was trying to watch it that morning, I was like, oh, it's 50 minutes. I'm like, that's good. Because that's there's amazing. so much going on. It's like you have to have more time than just 24 minutes. Dude, I completely forgot to watch it until I got home from work. Oh, really? Oh, so yeah, someone yeah. was like, well, only halfway through the week. And I was like, it's Wednesday? Yeah. It's Wednesday? <laughs> no, I was freaking Damn out during the day. Um... But yeah, no, definitely. I mean, um, we we've had our ups and downs, definitely with the show. I feel like, mind you, Missy, please, please give me a shout out, man. We'll be right there. Um, shout out. I, I, I do feel like there were some different directions we could have gone with this. Oh yeah. Stuff that stood out a bit more. Stuff that could have ended, uh, like, rounded out better. Like, the whole thing with Wolf. Like, we got Wolf for one episode to point his guns, get talked to, and fuck off the rest of the season. Yeah. 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 Like, like, I mean, the great and all. But I, I want to know more about that. Like, Gregor is on board, you know? Like, the whole point with Echo and Gregor showing up late 
is because Gregor was on mission for Rex. Like, you know, they, they are part of the squad. And even if it's a subtle detail, I actually want to see Wolf be recruited to Rex's cause. You know? Yeah. Um, and, I, and I'm just kind of sad that we didn't even get that, you know? Um, now, there were highlights with this episode that I was super excited for. Stuff that I feel like could have been super hyped but just fell short because they were so sudden, so kind of random. I feel like <clears throat> the first part I do think succeeded, and I'm so glad it did well. Echo. <laughs> yeah. Echo was like the highlight of the last few episodes. Like, he's not an official Bad Batch member, and they make that clear throughout the entire series. Hell, even episode one, when they acknowledge Echo is just a reg. He's not a bad batch. You know? He, he's not one of us. He's not a defective clone. And, and they continually make that a good point. But I'm so glad to see him brought back into the fold, like, seamlessly. I'm just sad to see him overshadow everyone else who is a concurrent member of the show. You know? Yep, yeah, I can see what you mean, yeah. Um, now, as for the things that were random and or overdone or, like, just so misplaced, on the Zilla. I like the idea of the Zilla. Zilla beast. Yes. Like, it, like it's, a, it's a really cool thing, and of course, like, they're going to clone the Zilla beast. They did clone the Zilla beast. Like, that's a huge, you know, a huge achievement. But I feel like it took so much away from the episode. Like, I, 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 I just don't, I didn't like it. I get that's why Omega and them got out. You felt like it was of... not, um, you didn't feel like it was, like, natural. You kind of felt like it was just there to give Omega yeah, well, and the crew and, her, and the other kids a way out. I think that's actually a great way to put it, Andre. I think that's an amazing way to put it. Yeah. Because it just didn't feel like... There's any point other than yeah no it's here for an exit. That's Pretty it. much, cause that yeah after it got away and escaped, it literally just went into the forest and that was it. It's like yeah. oh, okay. You know you know it been a really like even cooler moment if it, there was any way to pull it off. Hmm. Why couldn't they use one, that like old Republic fucking like planet destroyer? Remember the fucking like mining laser that they found with. The first time they did a mission with Fee, and oh, they like yeah. pulled the crystal, and the machine came to life and just started like glassing the planet. Yes, I do remember that. Like, imagine if there was a way to use that against the fucking base. Like, dude, that would have been so hyped. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. but, but instead, we we have the Zilla Beast, which is just kind of randomly placed. And mind you, it's not random. It's just not appreciated. Yeah. I think that's a better way to play it. And then, <clears throat> the last part, that really, like, they set it up. The, the parts were there, and I like it. It's just something that I felt should have been much more like the whole second half of the last season. Yeah. The, like, oh god, I, I heard a name for him, and I love it. I can't even think of it. <laughs> I think it was the Batter Batch. And it, it's it's, it's the Shadows. The the team of Shadows. <clears throat> like it was it was so cool. That one moment <clears throat> where you see the four of them lined up, show, like, you know, in their cool ass stances. And I felt like in that very moment when we see our normal shadow, you know? The one with, like, the crosshair scope on it. Yeah. That's when it sank in my mind. Holy shit. This is just a clone version of them. You know? <clears throat> Which kind of explains a lot, you know? Like, maybe they were trying to create more of these soldiers. Or maybe they would be the forerunners of this new elite 
team of badasses. You know? But it, it just felt so out of place. Like, <clears throat> it was so sudden. There was no character discourse over it. You know, not that there had to be. <clears throat> but I'd like to think that in place of all of these Bad Batch members dying, you know, because we've gone over that. In place of all of them dying, I feel like we should have had them die instead. Like, instead of losing Wrecker, let's lose the fucking tank from their team. Which, that was another thing that was really sad about the team. I couldn't tell anyone else but Crosshair. Because he oh, had the giant... Like, okay, we can go over this. But we had the giant dude with, like, the Conquistador helmet. With the trident that stabbed Wrecker with the, like, electric prod, you know? Yeah. We had a dude with, like, these knuckles, and he did exactly what Wrecker did. He picked up a shield and, you know, charged the team, and he, he did all this really badass stuff. But he was throwing bolos and tying people down. And, of course, you have the swordsman with the two swords that he then gives to the sniper. And then you have the shadow, the main one, who is just like Crosshair. I think he's the only obvious one. Who do you think is who? Mind you, I, I think it's matching between Hunter, Crosshair, Wrecker, and Echo, especially since Tech is gone and there's only four of them. That was... Talking so about who do you that think part, is who? I... That was one thing that made me upset, is that we never even found out who some of those people were. That's very true. That could have been, that That should have been something that was explored over, like I said, that could have been the last, like, eight episodes. The second half of the season, where you and I kind of fell apart with the series. Yeah. <clears throat> like, that could have just been, like, imagine we met each of these people individually. Like, one episode with them as badasses, one episode revealing who they are in the background. That would have been cool. Like, I, I was, I was really finale, looking forward to it. And I was like, oh, we're gonna, we're facing them, we're gonna probably, they're probably gonna, like, yeah, beat them, but we're gonna find out who they are. But they, nah. they just, they just, they did it. And nah. I'm like, damn it, dude. I know one of them, uh, they had, like, a, a mask that looked like Tex. Actually. Oh, you're thinking of the swordsman. The swordsman yes. had one that was very similar to Tex Helmet, you're right. I know but it's not I do not think it him. was Tex. I'm it, positive it's, just, it's not. It probably I'm positive isn't. It's not. But it is interesting though, to say the least. Like again, yeah, the designs on them were really cool. Like I love them. But honestly, oh, yeah. you never did answer my question. Oh, uh, which one do I think it was which? Yeah, who like who would you pair to who? Who would you be like, it's this person, this person, this person, this person. Like, we, we, I think we both agree on Crosshair, right? Yeah, Crosshair. Crosshair. is the sniper. Sniper. He's the shadow. Uh, the, the sword sky, I'm trying to think who that would have been. That probably would have been Hunter, I would assume. See, that's, that's where I'm leaning. The vibroblade. He always had the vibroblade on him. Yeah. Um, and um, then the other one would be Wrecker. Wait, 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 hold on, you're saying the other one. Which one? The Trust. one with the okay. trident and the conquistador helmet? Or the one who actually did everything record does? Uh, like, there was some scenes, because I watched a breakdown from New Rockstar, shout out to them. Um, I watched the breakdown, where, like, if you actually look at the dude with the, like, the galvanized knuckles and the bolos, oh. he picks up a piece of like metal off the ground and rushes them with it and it looks exactly like Clone War season seven when when Wrecker picks up the part of the gunship and like makes a shield for the rest of his squad. Like it looks the exact same. Okay. But I see what you mean. I, but I, I'm conflicted because then you have the giant dude. With the trident. Like, he's definitely the big guy. Right? Yeah. So, That's what you mean. It, it, it's so weird. 
I don't know, man. It's it's very interesting to be honest. Uh, that's that's another reason I think like that group falls really flat for me is because there's no distinct identity, and I'm not talking about who's who, as in under the mask. But like, why do we have a team that's Crosshair Hunter and two Wreckers? Because. Why do we not have? one who is even like why can't we have one that's more of a archer you know in some sort of semblance to omega you know that would have been obvious if it had like an energy bow yeah that's Mind true you, she doesn't have that for quite some time she got like a green crossbow thing which yeah which i want to also call out now that i've mentioned that what's the last time she had it the last time she had when it would have been before it? she got caught. But I don't even think she used it before then. She didn't use it in the fight with Ventress. She wasn't even in the swamp episode. Well, that's what I mean. Like, I mean, like, when the uh, uh, last season was the last time she had it. I don't even think she's had it ever since no, this whole season. No, no, she got it. No, she got it when, they, when she got rescued. Oh, yeah, right. I guess she never with did. With Crosshair. Did she? I don't think she, I think she used it once, one episode, and that's it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like, no. they gave her this badass new upgraded version of the weapon. Yeah. Didn't let her fire it, like, maybe more than the one episode. Very like, disappointing. Oh, <laughs> I think she only did it on, like, episode five with the snowworm. I think she oh yeah, I guess she did use it. Worm. Did she even go outside though? I thought she literally was inside with Wrecker the whole time. Oh, though. you know she, she might have been. Because it was Hunter and Crosshair oh, God, were the ones dude. that were out there in the snow, <laughs> um, trying to get. Yeah, it. they were all out there in the snow. And Wrecker and her Omega were inside. Yeah, because Omega was trying to get Wrecker show him how to do it because he's like, I don't know what I'm doing. She's like, Oh, I got gotcha, you. Don't worry. <laughs> like. Again, there's, there's so much here that's just like, what happened? You had everything. You know, the show had everything, and then just kind of, it just fell so short for me. Yeah. Um, so, um, if you guys are just joining us, I pretty much asked uh, Spartan kind of like what, what he thought about how the last episode ended, and my opinion is it it to me it was huh. it was kind of disappointing it was like it was like, good if you think about it like a happy ending like disney you know happy endings everything's all good i guess technically it, it is a good ending but i feel like for the stakes and like how high everything was it is it, it, it just kind of disappointing first of all <laughs> pretty much None of the bad batch really lost anything. I think the only one that really lost something was Crosshair because he got his arm, his hand cut off. So, Which that was so random to me as well. It was. <laughs> the guy's just like, I'm going to cut off your hand. I'm like, what? <laughs> it's like, okay, I guess. And like, that anyway, was something I was really hoping they would explore more. Like the brutality against the bad batch. But no, we just cut off his hand. Was that the hand That's that it. was shaking? I'm pretty sure yes, it was. Yes, yeah, yes. It was. So that was one of the things I mentioned in that breakdown where it's like, maybe he, he helped him. Yeah. Because after that, Crosshair landed a shot that was really difficult. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> he shot with the off hand. It's pretty like, impressive. <laughs> <laughs> I know I know the I know the sniper was like you should be more careful with your shooting hand and then cuts it off. Like what what do you think was happening? Were you just disarming him? Literally? They're I, I think I crippling him to be Star honest. Wars, but... I know it's Star Wars where it's like, Oh yeah, this is such a such a like classic trope, you know? With yeah. uh <laughs> with, with just doing people's that, hands no. getting cut off. Oh uh, man. Just, uh, and that just felt really random, too. I, I was thinking that he was going to be like, Crosshair's going to be like, now I'm Crosshair Skywalker. Because <laughs> no, all the Skywalkers, no. except I don't count Rey as a Skywalker, though she said she was a Skywalker. Luke got his hand cut off. Anakin got his hand cut off. <laughs> Very true. 
So it, it, I, I, I didn't think that was going to happen, but I thought that was kind of funny thinking about it. I'm just like, oh my god. Hey, 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 if anything, Ray lost her shitty character development. She did lose something also. Yeah, but that, I don't think that makes her Skywalker. I think that was a really cool moment, but at the same time, like, the character just wasn't good enough for it. Yeah, yeah. But back to Bad Batch. Um, like, they didn't do anything to Wrecker. They didn't do anything to Hunter, you know? I don't... It just didn't feel like anyone really grew at all. No. no. I think the only person that kind of grew was Crosshair, but that's because he lost his hand. Well, no, I, th I think Crosshair had, like, the, the most... The most growth, yeah. Yes. You, you know what been even cooler of them to do with this series? Like, as a whole. Just as a whole. Mm hmm Episode 1, or Season 1, I felt was much more Hunter. Yeah, okay. I'll agree with that. 100%. Just because he was the face of Bad Batch, and when it came to figuring out how to parrot Omega, he was definitely the like forefront father. Yeah. Then season two, Echo, or not Echo, not Echo, uh, Tech, hands down, Tech. Yeah, I'll agree with that. Because Tech, Tech, per, like he got so personal in all those episodes, only to be killed off. Sacrificing himself. At the end of the season. Yes. Two, yes. And then season three, we had all Crosshair. All about yeah. Crosshair. Like, it was a lot about him, like, kind of readjusting and coming to terms. And even then, I don't even like... Like, mind you, Crosshair never, never really recovered. His hand was cut off. There's nothing left to shake. <laughs> Well, he's like, probably he's probably gonna get a mechanical hand like Anakin and Luke. Let's be honest. Okay, now you're hoping for a lot there, cause here's another really disappointing fact about this finale. Where the hell were Wrecker and Crosshair in the finale, like in the end? Well, the thing was it. the way. So when um thinking about that, I know when Omega was talking with Hunter, saying, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna go join the rebellion. It's my fight." Uh huh. She said specifically, uh. She was talking to Hunter about, I, I'm pretty sure, I don't remember the exact words, but I thought she was pretty much saying, hey, tell Crosshair and Wrecker. Yeah, no, they're alive. Yeah, so they're alive. It's just but we didn't see them, which here. is kind of disappointing, like, too. Why are they separated? What happened? That's the whole story right there. Yeah. <laughs> why did they split up? Maybe, maybe Wrecker's just... <laughs> Wrecker's not that fast anymore. Maybe he has a walker or something. But, but see, but that, that's the downside. Like, why don't couldn't know. they do that? I think, um... If, if I had to take a wild, like, just a fucking dart... A dartboard. Yes? As much as I love Dee Bradley Baker, I wonder if he struggled to try and give an elderly voice... For, for Hunter, or for uh, Crosshair Rector and Wrecker. Crosshair, yeah. Yeah, I could see that. Because uh, Hunter's, Hunter's is literally just Rex's voice, but with like a little a little fog to it. Yeah. Not grit, but a little fog. Because he, he, he does that in an interview. He's like, you know, here, here's Rex. <laughs> Here, here's Hunter. Hunter's just like this. He goes into tech so well, he slips like a snake into, into Crosshair. And it's so beautiful. Just watching him shift on a dime between That's voices. Good. And Some skill. So I dude, he's a, he's a legend. My book. Like, dude, he's like, I wanna meet him so bad. <laughs> There's a lot of people for Star Wars that want me. And what were the Filoni. Uh even uh <laughs> John Favreau. I know he's not like entitled to Star Wars, but he, he did a lot that I admire. Mm -hmm. Um, but again, I, I, I think it, it probably would have just been, like, the struggle of giving, like, age to both those other voices. So maybe that's why they didn't have them on screen, because you know they would have said goodbye. You yeah, know they he, would have talked to him. And he also said to Omega that literally if she needed any help, they'd be there ready to help, so... Oh, yeah, you know that they would be back. Yeah. And I, I believe it, too. I, I know in that breakdown, I hate to keep bringing it up, I know, I know, original content, more. 
Spartan. No, it's okay. Go ahead. <laughs> God damn it. There was something you brought up, isn't it, that... I don't know if I believe or not, but I want to see what you think. Mm -hmm. You were saying, did Hunter seem not dull, but like... Clothed? Like, maybe he's going blind? He looked at Omega, but when, like, she first came in, it's like, you know, age hasn't dulled all of my senses, and he doesn't look at her. He just, like, looks at light the whole time. And it's not mm. until she actually gets ready to leave the cave does, does he, he actually, actually look, look at, her. at her. Yeah. I... And so it's like... Is he, I don't is think he, he's like, blind. losing it? I don't, know, I don't think he's, he's blind. That much. He, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It's like, I think it's just an interesting interaction because, like, he's old, so his his wits are definitely not about him. Yeah. Um, Which, that's another really weird thing. How old do you think Hunter is? At that point, like, how old is Baxter? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's very true. It's bad, uh, Baxter. Baxter. I call him Baxter. I don't know. I call him Baxter. But um, yeah, I don't know. Um, that's a good question because they don't. I wish they would have defined how long it was. Right. Um, like there's that so would have been kind of good. So Be much left unanswered. Because we have to kind of guess how long it's been. Because Omega was a kid, and then uh -huh. now she's an adult. Uh, uh -huh. and she's like, I'm gonna go join the rebellion. So she she's joined, joined as a pilot. Yeah, as a pilot. Is, so we have to guess when she joined. Some people were, I think some uh, people were saying that she probably joined around uh, when uh, the first the first Death Star was created. Yes, uh, that's that's everything I saw. Because people were wondering if she's actually one of the pilots in the uh, Suicide Run. Oh, when a lot Luke of them died. The <laughs> exactly, of... and that's why I'm like, no, please, please don't be the case. Please don't be like, you know, don't, don't do know. that. I, I kind of wish they would have hinted. We just know it was definitely... We, we need something. We need closure. Or at least, or at least some sure. kind of like year, like how many years it passed would have been nice to know instead of being like, okay, we pretty much know it's just within this time frame, which is a big <laughs> time frame <laughs> uh, where she probably could have joined the Rebellion. Um... Which I guess if that's the case, then now we know she probably has, we would assume she probably has met Sabine, maybe, possibly, or maybe yeah. run into Sabine, and probably, possibly Ahsoka, um, at some point, maybe, which I think that, I think she is going to be, now, after seeing the finale, I do think she is going to be probably about a part of the heir to the Empire, most definitely now. Really? Yeah. I, I still don't see it. I really don't. I see it. Uh, unless she dies before where, where, then. Where, where do you see it? Where do you, where do you see it? For because her? she's be she's going to become a pilot. And I feel like with Ahsoka's uh -huh. kind of... Her personality, it would make sense. Like, I don't know what kind of role she's going to play. But I do like, think I she's going to be... I feel like it'd be a cameo, if anything, maybe. She might... I don't know. Because the <laughs> thing is, I don't even know how they're going to do Heir to the Empire. Especially, as I said, especially with me reading the old books. I don't know how the newer books, the ones that are with the... Star Wars Rebel characters in it, how the story is different. So, yeah. But maybe they might use Omega again because she still has that kind of thing. Maybe she will be used to, uh, for something for Thrawn's plan. I have no idea. That's what I would assume. I, unless she becomes a really cool star pilot or something, I have no idea. I think, I, see, what that's one of the things that really got me. I know she was taught a lot on piloting. And I know that's a like, great like, area to kind of fit her in. Yeah. But I feel like we've got way too many good pilots. Way yeah. too many. Like, you yeah. can say Luke, great pilot. Hera, great pilot. Wedge, great pilot. Han Diggs, Solo, great, great pilot. pilot. <laughs> Han Solo, great pilot. Yep. Deb, I don't know yet. Uh, um, Ahsoka, Sabine, great Ahsoka pilot. <laughs> Sabine was a very good pilot, yes. There's the, like, yeah, there, there's a lot of great pilots. <laughs> so, right Lando, Lando's a great pilot. Lando's a great pilot. Chewbacca's a pretty damn good pilot. Oh, um, uh, shit. 
<laughs> There's so many good pilots. I just hate no that they just kind of threw, threw Omega into that crowd. Like, yeah, yeah be a pilot. Be more pilots. Like, I don't fucking care about pilots. <laughs> yeah. I, I should, see, you know what? They really dropped the ball again. And I just realized because I'm like paused in that final scene. Yeah. You know what they absolutely could have done? Why, why didn't they, like, say she became a strategist? <laughs> they, they hyped up the fact that she was so good at strategy for so long. Yeah. And, like, all the bad bads recognized it when she made the call, you know? Like, Tech listened to her at one point, Wreckers listened to her, Echo... Maybe, even Hunter. maybe that's what she becomes. Because the thing is, we we technically don't know. Well, no, she did say she was going to be a pilot, didn't she? She she specifically said the, the, they the need pilots. Rebellion needs pilots. Yeah, they did. Damn, man. I was going to say, maybe she does become <laughs> a tactician. But no, she did specifically say they need pilots. I'm going to go like, fight. She doesn't have to be a general, but like, they could refer to her. Maybe she'll you know, be like one like, of the uh, the leaders, team leads, like gold leader, <laughs> red leader, well, see, standing by. Actually, funny enough, that's that that was brought up in that breakdown where it was like, what if she is part of gold leader? What well, that's what the yellow jacket's for? You yeah, know, that makes sense. Because if she's a good tactician, have, like, that would be like the best thing for her to do if she was a pilot was to be that's, one of the leaders. That's what. Um, they, like everyone keeps trying to figure out about her outfit like that's the big question mark right now is like was there a symbol we missed because i think it would have been really cool if we had the symbol on her that we've seen throughout all of star wars and we're yeah. like oh my god it was her well i can and, tell like, you it definitely did, she I wasn't gold see. leader because gold leader was a guy and he died <laughs> he did yeah he did uh, die you know, that's very true because that's very true because I remember him, he goes in, he's like, guys, you're going to do this. And then he dies, and then yeah. they're like, oh, looks like we got to do it. <laughs> now, so they go in. Yeah. But, again, there's so much with it that they could have done. I feel like they dropped the ball. <laughs> or, like, they left it so open-ended that, like, okay, great. Now, now, at least in my mind, they do nothing special to the continuation of Star Wars. You know, like they were a cool point, and that's that. That's it. Yeah. And like even with Mando, you know, Mando didn't have to go on to be part of the sequel trilogy or any bullshit. He did cool shit in his time. And you know, you can argue, of course, that the Bad Batch did something really cool. They took down an entire division of the Empire, Ooh, yeah, just yeah. trying to get their 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 girl back. You know. But, I, I don't know. Like, I still don't see that as enough. I, yeah. I, you know, I couldn't tell you why. I, I feel like they still had way more potential than granted. And another thing. You know, there, there were so many things that they really could have picked up with and let us know. Like, Wrecker, Wrecker was fucking hurt. Yeah. The gash in his armor, the, like really stall breathing a lot of that last episode like <sighs> yeah just like jesus he's like keep going <laughs> and not to mention you know he got stabbed in the chest like that that trident electrified trident you know he held it back for a bit and then something happened and he had to let go and that trident went right into the like chest cavity oh, yeah. created by that beast like, that could not be good for record. Like, dude, I, it was in that moment, like, when that happened with Crosshair getting his hand chopped. I was wondering if, like, Wrecker got, like, killed by, like, cardiac arrest. You know? I'm, I'm like, not gonna lie. Electrocution. When that happened, I was literally like, damn, actually, I'm, I'm not gonna, I think Wrecker's gonna die. Like, the final episode, but, like, when that happened, I'm like, he's, <laughs> he's probably gonna die. But, but uh, nah, everyone's fine. It's dandy. Anyway. That's yeah. As I said, I just I understand why Disney did it. They mm -hmm. wanted to be a happy ending for the characters, and I completely understand I that. And I think also the reason they did it too is because I feel like they're going to be playing a part later on, and I think that's why yeah, they want to keep all of them. Mind you, folks, I'm very impatient. I don't know. 
all of you alike. I, I want to know. Like, I, I want a direction, at least. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, Omega telling us she's the pilot? Great. That's great for her. What about everyone else? They're just going to stay there on the island and just be... Just retire. Like, that's exactly what it sets up. Because, mind you, she... <laughs> at first, when I watched this, I thought this was Omega coming back and seeing them. No, this is her leaving yeah. them. This is, this is her leaving Pabu to go do something. And mind you, there are so many things that also don't really line up. Like, Pabu was literally, like, hidden from the Empire up until that one episode. The Empire came down, and they just left it the fuck alone? Those are, like, thousands of unregistered people. Thousands yeah. of people you could conscript into your army. Probably people that, you know, by imperial standards, are considered criminals. Like, there's an entire criminal planet. Like, you, you tell me the Empire saw this peaceful, secluded land and just said, fine, we'll leave you alone. Yeah, the, oh what? yeah, that is true, because... <laughs> and oh, the Empire God. never went back to Pabu, where they these never registered... Did these registered criminal clones are known to harbor let's be honest though um um damn it what's his name hemlock hemlock Harkin? i think hemlock is the only one that really knew because he was the one that called or pretty much his or yeah. his agents were the ones that called it in so let's be honest especially with the whole base or the uh, data and everything getting destroyed, which actually talking about that, how do you feel about Namase's ending mm -hmm. and, um... This, what... this is something I've been, like, also, like, on. Uh, how do you feel Namase... about their ending in the game? Or in the show? Did the, you feel like it was good game. or bad or... End game for I, them, I guess, I failed the QTE, she dropped the grenade. Oh, no. Uh... Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Just bah, bah. Uh... <laughs> no, so Rampart, I like the angle he played. Just for the fact that he... Uh, okay, there's also more to Rampart's whole thing. Yeah. But, like, for one, when Omega let, let them both out of the prison, she was so happy to see Nalase, and I wish there's a little more there. I know it's a Kaminoan, and the Kaminoans don't really care. Like, you know, they don't express it. But, like, Omega, she was so happy, and I just wish we got a little more of that. That was so wholesome. Yeah, I'll, I'll... But then, she saw Rampart there, and didn't ask a fucking question. Not z zilch. No one had told her up to that point. I mean, unless it's like Echo told her on the way to the cell. But even then... Omega never would have known why the fuck Rampart was there. But she saw Rampart and just completely ignored him. Yeah. Like, what you think about that? Like, oh yeah, hey, this guy who was chasing me down for two years? Who is partially responsible for Tech's death? And yeah. not even gonna, like, fuck you. You don't get a gun. Like, you know, not even that. Like, can I have one? No. <laughs> like, just not, no care in the world. The Rampart. Um, but then Rampart, of course, playing the angle that, like, he wants to know what's going on. He wants to know what Hemlock's been doing. He wants to know why all this was worth it in the first place. So I like that angle for Rampart. Because he's just being a greedy little shit. Yeah. But that's where I also like Nalase's. Nalase, I think, you know, as a Kaminoan, we don't need more. You know, we really don't. I know in the past we both theorized, or, uh, you know, that Emery and her would be better as informants for the rebellion. You know, like, it, that's exactly. And mind you, I gotta say, I actually really liked Emery in this episode. I did. Okay, like, okay. it's not fair. Like, it's not justified. You know? Yeah. Like, I, I don't think there's a lot they could have done with her for as much as they kind of hyped her up. 
But regardless, I, I, I actually like the direction. I like the writing. I like what she said. Like, this is great for her in my eyes. But I, I, I just like that they did kill off Nala Say, but then Emery still took up that same role yeah. that I wanted for Nala Say. Um, which, that was still a really fun moment. <laughs> There's a lot of actually, like, fun things to, like, note. Like, again, the whole cut between uh, Rampart and Nala Say. <laughs> He, he shot and all say you see the like corpse slump over. He's like, ah, and dies. <laughs> you know, because the bomb goes off. He's like, damn it. But there's also <laughs> an amazing God, I gotta give a shout out to this, even though it was so random of a cut. I actually go back and look at the episode when the Zilla Beast is like breaking free initially. There's like two soldiers, okay? One gets crushed, the other one's firing on the Zillow Beast. You hear the roar and you hear screaming and just halfway like silence. And it's just Emery peacefully opening a door. Oh jeez. <laughs> like it's like Andre, I, I, if you can, I would love if you could bring that up. Just that moment. I'm gonna comb through the episode. Um, just to find it. <laughs> That's such a fun, fun little tidbit Cut. of audio. Uh. Um, I'm surprised that, because doesn't everyone know that the Zilla Beast has, like, armor that can't get, it's just impenetrable? <laughs> I mean, I'm sure they did know that, but that's really <laughs> the only way they can... You know, the only way they have a chance at living, you know. Shooting it so it knows where you're at, so it can just kill you, un indestructible. <laughs> just like... Okay, I think I found it. Um, it's at nine, It's somewhere between 940 and 950. If, if you can watch it yourself, Andre, you should absolutely watch go watch it. I'll watch it. But yeah, man. yeah, no, the, the zoo will be just... Ah! And, and just at the peak of its scream... Silence as it cuts to Emery opening a door. Well, <laughs> it's just it's just the most wholesome transition out there. Yes, <laughs> it's it's such a weird cut, but I love it at the same time. Mm -hmm. Um, I I do hate that they didn't even like question Echo walking into the vault. Like, my yeah, group, he is a basic trooper. <laughs> following the scientist and like it could be her escort but why is that not a commando at her side i'm assuming it was okay especially with the zillow beast and everything going on so well, mind you no the moment she opened like the vault door that's when Hem that's when as soon as she opened the vault door that's when she ran into Hemlock and Scorch inside the room yes. saying the children escaped and then the building shook Oh, then, yeah, I don't know then. There's no really no. And Hemlock was there <laughs> in the room. So was Scorch with this stormtrooper escorting Emery with the robotic hand. Oh my god. Like, I feel like the scientist and Hemlock should have been like, do I know you? Because I feel like I should, trooper. Because we don't hands. give out prosthetics. <laughs> yeah, we don't give out prosthetics <laughs> like that. The fuck is that? Yeah, um, that's a little, uh, little, uh, little, little plot hole, huh? Yeah. And uh, <laughs> the, there's just so many of those things in here. Yeah. Like, the, the the fate of the batter batch, which, mind you, there was one scene um that was really fun. It's when Omega is about to free her brothers, or, like, it's after she frees her brothers, you know? And, like, uh -huh. they're fighting again inside that little, like, torture room. Yeah. I think Omega looks off the balcony, because, you know, they're up on, like, a balcony thing. Yeah. And she looks down, and she sees the one with the galvanized knuckles and the bolos, okay? And he is fighting the, like, normal clone troopers, okay? Okay. In that one shot, you see ten dead bodies on the ground. 
and oh, he's God. just like looking for his next target. <laughs> like he's like some mixed martial arts badass, and he's just taking on like half the clones that they rescued. Yeah, yeah, they they really weren't. They were really messing them up, that's for sure. They could have been way more badass, way more prominent throughout the entire series. Yeah. Like, that would have been something that was really cool. We got that tease <coughs> when the one Shadow, by himself, took down Rex's entire operation. You know? Yeah. When Hemlock said, I don't have reinforcements to send. Your brothers are not ready yet. You know? I, I wish at that point we had one brother. And if they had even brought in one of the other three, I think we would have all figured out what they were doing. You know? Like, bringing the dude with the trident, you know, as the next one. And I feel like you would see Crosshair and Wrecker right, right there. I think it could have been so cool of a setup. But no, no, we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to kill him off. We're going to get them gone. <laughs> One episode, done. Mind you, these troopers have also never been heard of. In, like, the entirety of Star Wars. Which, I, I feel like that's a huge letdown, too. Yeah. You know? Like, couldn't this have been, like, a trooper? Or someone special from, like, a Jedi Fallen Order? Or not Jedi Fallen Order. From Judge uh, Force Unleashed? <laughs> something like like could, could we have gotten like huh i feel like i've seen this unit before <gasps> wait a minute you know because i know that's how everyone felt when the dark trooper showed up in mandalorian oh yeah dude dark troopers were last seen i'm pretty sure in either rebels well i know they were in rebels but like otherwise in the video games that's something from like force unleashed specifically is dark troopers you know? Like, why, why, why couldn't we get more of a, like, holy shit? You know? Why, why couldn't we get more of that? What was that? Oaks. I don't know. That's a, that's a actually a really good point. Um, okay, and then here's the other thing that I know we haven't talked about. The, like, final action bit. With Omega captured the <laughs> yet again, <laughs> and uh, the part of the whole episode that I've been regretting to talk about the the, the death of Scorch and Hemlock. Yes, I don't remember where Wrecker was. I know he was left behind after the whole fight with the Batter Batch. Yeah, um, he was. He was kind of. It's kind of fucked he was, up. To be honest. He's out of it. Mind yeah. you, to me, that whole balcony part was kind of a blur. Like, I lost myself in so many points because I was just thinking, who's who, what's what, which guy are they fighting? <laughs> like, I was lost. But it's fine, because I, I know Hemlock got a hold of Omega, taking Omega, Scorch was escorting him, Hunter and Crosshair. I, I, dude, I'm still so sad Scorch just got shat on. Yeah, he kind of he got. He, he did got, amazing he got in his rocked. premiere. He did amazing in his premiere in season one, when he jumped across an elevator, fought Wrecker and Hunter hand to hand for a while, and took like four uh, stun bolts to the chest. Four, mind you, the shadows in like all of this series, the shadows could only take like three. Scorch is taking four. And I think there were even some remote commandos early in season one who were only taking like one stun bolt and going down. But you have Scorch taking four. Like a fucking pro. You know? Yeah. Um, hell, even Ahsoka would only take like, I think, two before she would go down. In... Tells of the Jedi. We kind of had a conversation about that. Last yeah. Week. Yes. Um. So I'm still sad. <laughs> we never got Boss or Fixer. Says we we should understand why, and that's something I really hope you folks at home 
like go play the game. And in fact, they're on sale right now. So shout out to that. Like, just go play it, please. Like in Republic Commando, mm, masterpiece. It is very good. I'm just sad we never got Fixer Boss back. You know, we we, we never got to see them in the show. We got to see Scorch, which I'm so happy about, but other than his time in Season 1, I don't feel like he lived up to his hype at all in the series. I'll agree with that. Um, especially as a demolitionist, you know? Where's the bombs? Where's the anti-armor, you know, DC-17 attachment? Like, where, where's all that? <laughs> Can you imagine if he took out a fucking grenade launcher to fight them on that bridge? <laughs> or to capture them when they attack that base? You know? Oh, yeah. Like, th there's so much potential there that just flopped. And then, of course, he got shot, like, five times and died. Yeah, five yeah. Times. <laughs> it took a lot of bullets. Or he went down, down. But I'm pretty sure he was dead after three <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Which, I mean, more sad, because the shields did not hold up. I think they have shields. I don't honestly remember, unfortunately. I have no idea. Um, and then Hemlock. Hemlock, I, I mean, I'm happy with how he died, personally. I still think it was a little underwhelming for him. But I just wish that... Uh... I, I just wish it had been more important, I guess. Like, it just didn't feel important. Because, of course, we've never heard of Hemlock before. We're only getting him in, like, this final season, really. Oh, no, we got him halfway through season two. So, like, you know, we don't have a lot of time with Hemlock as a character anyway. And even then, of course, we've gone back and forth about how weird he is, how he's so smart, but then so nonchalantly casual with everything. He's totally okay with everything. <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, Omega stabs him, he gets shot, and he, he fucking dies. He, he gets fucked. Mm-hmm. Yeah, deserved. He yeah, he but, deserved every yeah. part of it. Um. Yeah. And yeah. that was a really fun moment with Hunter and Crosshair, where he was shooting on the shoulder, just like Tech and Crosshair used to do in Season 7 of Clone Wars. He's like, That's trust fun. her. That, she that knows really what fun. to do. Yeah. Okay. That, that, was, that was really... That was, like, my favorite... like Or not favorite, but that was, like, the best Bad Batch moment there. It, it made me think of... Uh... I'm not going to lie, that scene with Hemlock and everything, it kind of made me think of any kind of... Uh... Edit like a uh, any kind of bad guy, and I'm trying to think. It's like more of like the crime, uh, maybe military sometimes movies. He tries to get away. He uses Omega as like a you know shield or the person oh, of interest, yeah. and uh, yeah, then it's yeah. that last moment where it's like, okay, we're gonna do it, pull it, and then you know they do whatever to get away, and then that's the moment where it they works. take the shot and they yeah. get him down. Yeah. Which I thought was pretty cool for Star Wars, to be honest, especially with Hemlock. I think that's a, no offense, I think that's probably the best way we can get him, Hemlock, killed without it being yeah. too justified and everything. So, I'll, I'll give it that. I think the how Hemlock died was good. I think Damase and, um, um, damn it, his name, the other guy, how they died was kind of hysterical <laughs> in a way. Um. But I guess it makes sense. So then we know what happens with Namase and um, what's his name, and so. Yeah. Um, but I, I am disappointed with the Bad Batch. I I, I kind of it's the bad thing is is as much as like it did pull your heartstrings through certain points, like with Wrecker, him like being like really hurt that he's like having trouble breathing and stuff, uh, them getting captured and being like tortured and practically almost being made into uh hemlock's uh special army is what i was assuming they were doing yeah, uh, yeah. what he was trying to do um it just it felt like no one was gonna die now we did have some of the of course some of the prisoners the clones that they freed they did die 
but oh yeah, no, they got fucked. Yeah, they got fucked pretty good. Um, <laughs> Dude, but that was such a great scene there where you just see one clone just instantly like he just vanished as soon as the blaster <laughs> hit him. It's terrible. Yeah, it People were dying. Tex like, God, I'm trying my best. Tex is trying to like do his best out there with everybody, and people are just getting like murdered all around him. Oh man, it was, it was, it was good. It was a good scene, but I just, I just, it, it felt like no offense. It felt like just like the Bad Batch. They, they didn't have any of those points where I really thought they were gonna die, except I... for Chris Wrecker uh, when he was like rasping. I think. Yeah, I said Wrecker was like the only one that I thought was probably gonna die. Um, mm -hmm. Truthfully, um, Crosshair when his arm got cut or his hand got cut off, I was like, mm -hmm. okay, you're not gonna kill him <laughs> or anything. I'm like, okay, well, I, um, I again, I gotta say, I think the only moment I had any worry was when they started like maiming the Bad Patch. Like, mind you, the Bad Batch got their ass kicked. Oh, yeah. Like, we haven't even talked about that. Like, yeah, we're in the show's finale, and they just got fucking folded, dude. They're getting slapped. Uh, I don't even remember. Oh, I, I love Batman. Oh, hit. Money says, I love Batman. Money? Money. Oh, hello. Hello, Money. Hello. I I like Batman, Batman's too, but we're not talking about Batman. We're talking about Star Wars. <laughs> we have... Get with the program. Star Wars money. Bad Batch. You know, welcome. Bye. But, uh, yeah. Um, I would say that's the only most disappointing thing about it. It just felt like everything ended happy. Emery, everyone ended happy. Emery's like, I'm going to start helping. Also, I like how Echo and Emery ended. Like, I think that was the only, like, satisfying conclusion for those two characters. Money says Harry Potter fights Yoda, right? No. No. I think you're thinking of the wrong franchises. But I appreciate at least you trying. I I feel like there was a joke that... It was not like... I mean, I obviously get that joke. I don't. But that reminds me of something, and I, I, now I can't even think of it. But I feel like there there was a Star Wars character who was played by a Harry Potter character, and they did fight Yoda, and I just can't think. It's I can't, probably... I can't, oh, I, no, I think I, well, I'm thinking of this Lord of the Rings. Fucking Sauron fighting Yoda, man. What the fuck is this? Oh, jeez. Oh, ben you know, Affleck. Two. Ben Affleck. Uncle Ben? Yeah, it's probably right. Yeah. Also, Andre, uh, just as a heads up, it is almost 6 o'clock, so if you were looking to wrap up. Uh, Which, folks, we, we did not uh, clarify that before, where due to the inclement weather, we're going to try and keep it kind of short. Kind of short today. Uh, like, we're I'm in a tornado watch right now, and... A lot of businesses where I'm at are shutting down early because of the severe weather coming in. It's supposed to start, it's supposed to hit around six o'clock. I'm keeping an eye yeah. out. Um, so yeah, tornado we watch. We just got clouds. Yeah, either. tornado watch. That means tornadoes might form, and I might get sucked away with everything I have. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Hopefully, it won't get that bad. But if it does, that's gonna suck. Um, yeah. but yeah. Bad Batch, um, I would say I'm disappointed with the ending, but I think it ended pretty good. I would say I, I like what happened in this better than I liked mm -hmm. what happened in Tales of the Empire. <laughs> uh, I, I won't go that far. I won't. I won't go that far. I actually think it's the other way around. Unfortunately. Okay. More. Okay. Mo Morgan Elizabeth's story. Morgan story. Morgan Elsbane. Yeah. Uh, Elsbane. My bad. Uh, Morgan Elsbane. Morgan story. I liked better than <laughs> than Varys's. Which? Yeah, Varys's. Varys's. We just, we've gone over it uh, ourselves, and we're gonna go over it next week, folks. Uh, next week, no. I think we're just gonna do the entire series. Um, yeah. Just because we, we both don't feel great about Barris's story. 
but we are both excited with Morgan's. Morgan's was a fun one. Yeah. Um, we don't feel like there's just enough there to do one single episode over uh, just, like, one of the characters. It, it makes sense just to do all all of them in one. Um, yeah. We were going um, we to try to do the first three episodes for Morgan being next week, and then the next two, or then the next podcast after that being for Barris for four, five, and six. But we'll, we'll, we'll probably just pay it all next week. I don't know what that is. Okay, so Buddy says uh, what I said about the tornadoes is pretty, pretty kinky. And he also said, I know it's not on subject, but I got a Mikkel's reverence adapt last night. I... Yeah, I hear. I don't know. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not that much into Destiny, so <laughs> yeah, Spard will take that more than I would. I don't even know what weapon yeah, that is. To be honest. Um, Maybe we should do that if y'all are free today. Maybe. Yeah. Um, no, it's it's a sidearm from the Earth of Nightmares raid. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, folks, I'm a Destiny nerd. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I, I consider Spartan the Destiny guy in our group because he's Hi. the one that plays it, knows more about it than most of us. Um, Mind you, I haven't even done the Pantheon this week. Oh, uh, I'm talking about that. And Holy it's not a shit! Subject. Is it what I can see right now happening? Wait, what do you mean? Silent on the game. Oh, oh yeah, 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 you just hold noticed hold that. On, <laughs> no, hold yeah. on, hold on. Wait, wait. Before we go into that, because, folks, we are very off topic now. That's funny. I think we need to call here. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think this is a good place to end. Just before so, we talk about everyone, yeah. Yeah, so Bad Batch, awesome, or pretty decent ending. Um, kind of disappointing. But it, it, it wasn't, yeah, it didn't deli- deliver as well as we'd like, but yeah. it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. I wouldn't say it's like the worst ending I've seen. So. Andre, oh. scale of 1 to 10, go. Scale of 1 to 10 for the ending, or just the Bad Batch in general? Like uh, the whole thing. I'm gonna... Let's start with the ending. Let's just the just episode? The ending. Okay, yeah. um, the episode, I would say... 1 to 10. One to ten, I would give it. I would say eight. Ah, oh, see, so yeah, yeah, you're being way too generous. I, I feel like I am being. Well, I'll say this: for the episode, it did a lot of things right. One, it, it was longer than most of them, which I think was awesome. Well, so I... yeah, I mean that, but I feel like that was a given. It was. They, they, they could have just done twenty-four minutes. They really could have. If they had tried to do all that in twenty-four minutes, I would have given it a one. Oh, I would have given it a one, too. So I have to give that. Secondly, I think there was a lot of different things happening. Oh, okay, maybe maybe not eight. Let's go Let's go seven. Seven. I was thinking six myself. I think it's like, seven. I was definitely pleased with it, which is where, like, the five rests. And they did some cool things in it, but I was not happy with it. So I, I'm, I'm sticking with the six, I think. I'll do At least seven. for the ending. The ending? Okay. I think... Also, I think there's just a lot of things they didn't cover that kind of sucked. Like, they didn't actually yeah. show us who the super Hans... Or he pretty much his super army. They we, we yeah, like, It's dude. been teased so much of who could these people be, and we never got to see who they were. And that's what really sucked. Because it, it would have been cool. But, of course, their identity is just that they are them. And that's really, like, you know, like, it's just the Bad Batch, but evil. Yeah. Damn, was I that um, bad? Lamau. Which, yeah. by the way, I want to say, uh, another thing I totally agree on, and I believe we actually talked about it last week, too, where I, I want to say that this show really should have just set up for a second show. And not in the form of Bad Batch, but more like, you know, like just rename the show. Yeah. And that'd be your next show. Omega's going to get maybe... her own show. <laughs> I, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. I think she's definitely one of the most potential characters in Star Wars. She's the younger like, one out of everyone in the Bad Batch right well, now, so. Well, that's not what I mean. Like, I think there's a lot of stuff you could tell with her story, her perspective. Her relationship, like I said, I think she could spend the book of Boba Fett very easily. 
I think we could use her in stuff like Star Wars Rebels, like like understanding where she fit into the rebellion, you know? Yeah. Like, you know what's funny? Here's a here's another thing that's great to think about though, uh, for Omega and her story. Rex went on to fight at the Battle of Endor. Mm-hmm. So did she also? Like, did she know Rex? Is that, is, you know, is that a thing? I don't know. You know, could, could the rest of the Bad Batch actually have made it to Endor? And that's another thing that we'll, we'll just never know. We won't know until Heir of the Empire. I think she's going to make it to the Heir of the Empire. I don't think Heir of the Empire will be their next appearance. I feel like they'll do something next. I don't know what. I feel like they have to be involved sometime. I think, I think John Favreau the next thing is gonna like take all the series he's worked on everything, and he's gonna bring it into the air of the Empire. That's what I think is gonna happen. That's why I think she's gonna play a part. I don't know what kind of part. Dave Filoni, I mean. I think um, that's I mean, what's gonna happen. They're definitely gonna do that. I don't know if Bad Batch was actually Filoni's creation. I think he produced it, but I don't think he made it. Um, not to mention. I think realistically, if we're actually going to see Omega next, I think timeline-wise, the next thing is Ahsoka Season 2. Which yeah. I don't think they know if that's going to be animated or not with uh, Ray Stevenson's character. Yeah. You know? So, like, with Ray Stevenson being dead, it's impossible to really carry on uh, his character's, like, continuation. Yeah. But... I feel like on the Ezra side of that story, um, like in the like real galaxy, you know, I feel like that's where you could slip something in about Omega. That's where you could do something. Like so, realistically, I think if we're gonna see him next, we're gonna see them in Ahsoka season two. So that's season that. two. Okay, that's fair. Uh, mind you, that's like the soonest we'll see anything, and I think that's still slated for like two years from now. I can see that. I don't think it's this year, and I don't think it's next year. Which I heard there's a lot of delays with uh, Disney today. Like, a lot, and there's a lot to go over there. Oh, really? Today? Oh, I didn't Dude. know that. <laughs> so, so it was hilarious. I saw something where it's like, the next Avatar film, I guess, is slated to release in 2025. Uh, okay, that got pushed back all the way to 2029. Damn. <laughs> right? And, like, Marvel movies got moved back an entire year. Like, King Dynasty is supposed to come out in, like, 2026. And I think now it's going to be, like, May 3rd of 2027. Like, I can see that, especially with what happened to... Uh... Well, yeah, but I, I was just using that as, like, a timeline thing. Because there's a lot. Like, they go over... A lot of stuff. Like, Thunderbolts is, like, the most, like, up-to-date delay. Other than, I guess you can say, Deadpool 3. Yeah. But, but Thunderbolts got pushed back a shit ton. Like, it was supposed to come out, I guess, this year. And now it's coming out March of next year. Damn. And so, like, dude, yeah. No, there's, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff. And, like, Blade has been put on hold. Shang-Chi has been put on hold. A lot of delays. So I'm really curious what they're going to, like, it, it didn't talk about Star Wars, thankfully, but Marvel got impacted, uh, Avatar got impacted, and I know there's another franchise that they mentioned, but it wasn't Star Wars. It was something else. But, yeah, no, folks, we will see on what's to come. But I think that's where we can leave it for this week, folks. Yes. Um, and mind you, only short because of inclement weather. Yes. Otherwise, I'm sure we could go on and have fun. For another hour. Okay, I don't know, but anyway. <laughs> 30 minutes, probably. So. Yes. Thank you guys for watching. We'll be back, as I said, uh, next Monday. We'll see if I'll be uh, doing PC or not, especially with my new uh, processor coming in. Yeah. So that'll be exciting. Um, so we might be doing that. Um, and we'll be doing Tales of the Empire, both stories, Morgan's and Barrett's story. So um, yeah. it'll be interesting. It'll be fun. Um, we'll talk about what we feel about it, <laughs> if we liked it or not, um, all the good stuff. Um, 
But yeah, a lot of fun stuff, folks. But yes, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great rest of your week, everyone. We'll see you guys next week on Monday. Bye. Bye-bye, guys.